Hello everybody. I want to introduce Yomi-kun. Yomi-kun is an extension for Emacs. Its purpose is kind of a combination of two very popular tools that Japanese learners use. One of them is Yomi-chan. Yomi-chan is an extension for the browser that allows you to very quickly look up uh, Japanese words in a dictionary. The second one is Morphman. Morphman is an add-on for Anki that allows you to keep track of the words that you're learning. So you know which ones you, uh, you know, which words you are learning, and, um, and by complement, you know the words that you still do not know. And that allows you to keep track of uh, your learning and also being able to evaluate documents in terms of how easy or how difficult they will be to read based on the knowledge that you have acquired so far. So um, the main problem with Yomi-chan is that it only works in the browser. And I really, really wanted to bring it into Emacs and uh, because I think that in many cases, you want to be able to use it not only when you're reading documents, but also when you're uh, creating content. And, uh, and also because um, Emacs gives me way more flexibility in terms of uh, being able to process and edit text than uh, the browser. And um, so, what is Yomikun? Um, I think that the easiest way to explain it is with a demonstration. And um, so the first thing that we do is uh, we parse the document. Um, it's relatively fast. It parses the entire document all at once. And, uh, and as you can see here uh, with this uh, subtitle file uh, of a series I was watching, and um, it colors the text um, in different ways. Uh, let me remove um, the highlight line. Okay, so let's talk first about the foreground color. As you can see, there are different colors. Uh, we have green, we have uh, gray, we have uh, purple. Um, so what are the different colors? Uh, well, for example, uh, orange. <clears throat> orange is um, an adjective. Um, blue, on the other hand, represents a verb. And uh, let me enable uh, a minor mode. So for example, um, we can see at the bottom in the status line, uh, the kind of, uh, of morph that this word is, kuro, uh, okuru. <clears throat> in this case, we're talking about a verb doshi. And um, so it actually tells us that uh, the pronunciation, uh, the what, it's actually seen and what is the root uh, for that particular um, morph. For example, here's the same word. So we can see here that the verb is still okuro, uh, the surface, but it's actually seen uh, ok, ok, ok. And, and the pronunciation is ok, ok, the of ok, okute. And uh, so um, what are the other colors? And um, Purple corresponds to auxiliary uh, um, auxiliary verbs, and um, and green is uh, nouns. And uh, so, 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 those are some of some of the different colors that we have for the foreground and and what they mean. For the background, the background represents the state of the word according to whether uh, you know it or you don't know it or whether you're learning it and. Uh, so for example, in here we have, let's start with gray. So gray are words that I don't want to track, usually names. And um, so as we can see here, um, Takagi um, and uh, Rinko, Takagi Rinko, uh, um, Rinko Rinko. Uh, anyway, so I don't even know how to pronounce it. So in this case, uh, it, I have already instructed uh, Yomikun, that this particular word, um, Takagi, I don't really want to track it. It's a name, so I don't want to actually add it to my dictionary. So um, words with background gray means that um, they are simply ignored in the learning process. When the background is white as the background of the window, it means that this word is known. It's a word that I already know, Anta. And um, so um, it keeps track of that. If the word is with a pink color, it means that it's a, uh, a word that I do not know. 
So in this particular case, this word is one that I do not know. And um, so uh, doi, so um, it's I'm able to quickly actually identify how many words in a given document I'm actually familiar with and gives me an idea in terms of how easy or how difficult to read uh, this document would be. Uh, green, like in this case, uh, it means it's a word that I'm learning, uh, itai, and, uh, but I'm learning it and I'm still not very good at it. So I mark it as green, meaning that it's a word that I'm familiar with, but I still do not completely know. And those are essentially the four uh, different states. So um, same background as the window for known words, green for words that I'm in the process of learning, uh, pinkish background for words I do not know, and gray for words that I just don't care and simply ignore. Okay, so what else do we have? And so on top of that, we also have the ability to access a dictionary, kind of similar to Yomi-chan. So, <clears throat> um, America, not found. So this word was not found in the dictionary. Let's look for a word that is in the dictionary. So this in the dictionary. So I press return, um, DOI, agreement. And uh, so it shows immediately below the word, the definition um, from the dictionary. And, uh, and it also puts it in status line. The idea is that when you're reading, you want to actually put the definition um, right next to the text that you're reading, and, uh, and then uh, it will disappear automatically. And as you move the mouse, then uh, the, the status bar uh, message will also uh, disappear. Um, one interesting thing is that um, I keep a buffer um, uh, with the uh, words. Um, so, this is maintained always, so you can always come back and see which ones are the words that you're looking up. This is not stored in any database, it's just a buffer that is maintained, so you can always quickly go and see what are the words that you're having trouble with or uh, looking up and um, um, if uh, you need to. Um, there is also reading mode and um, that takes advantage of co uh, cursor sensor mode. The idea here is that you can simply move the mouse and as you move it, it will try to find the meaning for words that they are in pink. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just move the mouse and then as you move into a pinky uh, word, one that you do not know, it will show you the meaning. So that's essentially um, the reason for that. Um, there's something else. Um, we can change the status of words. So for example, um, the kiro and uh, the kite. Uh, so I can actually mark this as known. I press um, K and it will actually uh, go and add this word to my list of words that I do I know. And, uh, and that is stored in an SQLite database. So in this SQLite database, it keeps track of the words that I ignore, words that I'm in learning uh, stage, and words that they are in um, uh, well-known. And um, it doesn't keep track of, uh, of the words that I do not know. There's no point on, on, on doing that. Uh, one more thing is that um, it is possible to um, uh, uh, to edit the text, so you can actually add uh, 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 this is uh, 